Hello, good morning, my fellow gaming and blockchain friends. It's a such a joy to see that Steel Media is so advanced in their vision to evangelize blockchain by starting a new game website, blockchaingamer.biz, that's led by Zhang, and inviting Super Game Chain, aka SGC, to co-host this Blockchain Gaming Connect conference. I'm Tony Xu, the CEO of uh, Super Game Chain, a geek and idealist. I graduated from the Master of Information Systems Management of Carnegie Mellon University, been coding, publishing, building, and playing in gaming and the social platform for 11 years. Witnessed and deeply involved in the emergence of social gaming, mobile gaming, VR, AR, MR gaming, and now working on to provide a dedicated and fully consensus digital ledger technology for blockchain gaming. I'm honored to join you today in what will go down in history as the greatest advancement of freedom in technology, economy, and governance, and of course in gaming, in human history, with an emphasis in gaming. How many of you have watched the movie Ready Player One? Cool, awesome. How many of you think that what that what's dep depicted in that movie is the perfect and the ideal gaming world for all of us gamers? Not many. <laughs> awesome. I think I'm at the right place with the right people. Awesome. So. Two years ago, I thought that was the ideal world. So somebody built a game and then we just play it by the rules they made. But now, with blockchain, my mind has transformed. I suddenly realized what was considered normal, ideal, fair is not normal, ideal, and fair anymore. It was what we have been trained to accept passively, to play by the rules of one person, one party, one authority. Today, we are here to break this norm. We are here to build something that has rules, not by the rulers, rules that have the consensus of all that are participating. Any changes to the rules will have to have the consensus of the majority of the population. Any changes, um, this was made possibly by, this was made possible by blockchain. We are here to provide the ultimate blockchain solution for gaming to provide a fun, fair, and a safe environment for everyone in this environment to build, play, and improve blockchain blockchain games together. So let's come back to a brief history of blockchain technology, or we should call it full, con full consensus digital, uh, full di consensus digital ledger technology. So in October 2008, a pseudo-anonymous man known as Satoshi Takamoto published a white paper that goes unnoticed along with a system called Bitcoin that in which cryptocurrency technology was used to regulate the generation of units of currency and verify the transfer of funds operating independently of a central bank. It is so decentralized that even its creator, Satoshi, is decentralized. And uh, this is blockchain 1.0. The significance of Bitcoin is that you could buy a pizza with 10,000 Bitcoins in 2010 and buy a house in Palo Alto, the very expensive place uh, in, in the Bay Area with a few hundred Bitcoins nowadays. So later on, Ethereum made cryptocurrencies flourish by introducing smart contracts that can automate the exchange of digital assets and the cryptocurrencies. 
the controversial thriving of ICO projects and the companies is a product of this blockchain 2.0. It has enabled every company and every individual to create their own cryptocurrencies and make it work, which means everything will now has a value and you can trade what you have with another entity or individual of what they have with the value that's attached to them in a secure way without any intermediary. Now, many companies are claiming their DLT technologies is blockchain 3.0. A lot of people are working on it, including Nebulous, EOS, Hashgraph, and HGC, that's us. So, Just now, I think you guys already answered John's question. A lot of you guys have already got owned a Bitcoin or some other kind of a cryptocurrencies, but I saw like about half of them, half of you still don't. So, uh, when the two-day conference is over from here, hopefully everyone in this conference will have a digital wallet and some cryptocurrencies. You can ask the person next to you who has Bitcoins to share with you 0 0.0000001 Bitcoin. Okay, now with Bitcoin, you can do it. Or come to our booth, Super Game Chain. We'll help you create your first digital wallet. And every one of you here can claim a gift of $100 worth of SGCC. So why am I in blockchain gaming? I'm in blockchain gaming because I am a, like a, a geek, a gamer, and a developer. I started the Super Game Chain because in today's gaming world, it is not the developers nor the gamers who can decide what games the developers can build and what games the gamers can play. Then who decides? what games to get played by the gamers. Who? Publishers and investors and um, uh, app stores. If you want to get your game to be known, to be played by the end users through like three million applications and uh, games out there. You have to get it either featured or get it advertised throughout the work. So I believe this is not right. I believe developers should be the one to decide what games they want to build. And the gamers should be the ones who can vote with their stakes not just vote with nothing, vote with their stakes on which games they want to play. I believe there can be consensus on what gaming should be played and what consensus will have to be made by the whole gaming ecosystem, not just by a few investors, one or two app store editors, or the advertisers. I believe together we can make that happen with a fast, reliable, and secure blockchain solution. That is what we are here for. As for what consensus, that will have to be decided by who goes in the super game chain on this blockchain. Starting from today, starting from gaming, we'll form this consensus together. We'll back this up with SGC solution. Let's get it started. If you believe in yourself, if you believe in your game, if you believe in your gamers who will support you, we have you backed with funding, gamers, and the best blockchain solution. Thank you. Okay, Tony, do you want to stay for a couple of questions because you've got a bit more time? Have we got the microphone? Oh, no, just wait for the microphone to come. If you can say who you are and where you're from before you... Uh Ask a question that would be helpful. Yeah. 
I'm Francesco Sullo, I'm a Solidity developer. And I think it is very interesting, all the concepts. What's, uh, what's my question is how you solve the problem with the scalability, which is the particular solution that you implement in a super game chain? That's a very good question. So I, I can see a lot of people have did some research about blockchain technology uh, uh, involvement. So as you guys know, the one game, CryptoKitties, almost brought down like Ethereum because uh, CryptoKitties needs a, uh, had a, it's, it's not that frequent transaction. I think it's uh, transaction rate is about 30 transactions per second, but Ethereum only supports uh, around 15 transactions per second. So the current uh, um, TPS is not for of Ethereum. Uh, that a lot of uh, current uh, blockchain game platforms and games are built on cannot support games right now. But there are a, a lot of new technologies that's coming up, and uh, we are building this technology as well. We are, but but we are also researching. It's not like something it'll be definite this way. So w what we want to do is we work. Uh, we will work out. We will provide the fastest blockchain solution and give you guys, give all the developers an easy to integrate SDK for your game. And it will be a consistent SDK so that you don't have to keep on researching which is the fastest blockchain solution and which technology I should be using and what kind of blockchain engineers I should be hiring. You know, nowadays a blockchain engineer is very, very expensive. Okay, so we will provide you all the support. And uh, with the current uh, testnet, we could do thousands of transactions per second already, but we are thinking about working with some other, uh, like blockchain solutions like uh, um, Hashgraph. I think they will be also presenting in this conference a little bit later today. Uh, there, with their like, technology, you, with Hashgraph, you could actually do 250,000 transactions per second. And uh, with more like nodes, you could actually reach millions. But now it's proprietary, so, uh, so there are a lot of things going on. I believe this will be resolved very soon. Okay. Uh, my name is Robert from uh, Mindstorm Studios. Uh, so there's, there's stuff that you guys do for developers, and that's fine. But let's say I'm an uninitiated gaming person who does not know much about blockchain, which is majority of the ecosystem. Are, are you guys providing anything that's consumer focused? Like if I were to ask, what does SGC do? Uh, and you know, what does the world look like with you guys and without you guys from a consumer perspective? Uh, is there a simplified thing that you could summarize this in, in terms of the value add that she brings? Sure, gaming person. By gaming person, do you mean you're a game developer? A and, and, and consumer. A gamer who does not know about develop. TPS, does not know about Ethereum, does not know about the challenges of blockchain. How does the world change with you guys in it and you guys without it? That's, uh, that's what we are doing right now. So first of all, I think, uh, first of all, we will have to get the gamers understand, have a digital wallet so that they can play in the blockchain solution. So we will have a, a kind of, we will have a platform uh, it's not so for what is uh, if you're a game developer what will attract you to uh, any blockchain solution you will only come if there are either users or a way for you to make money out of it right so first of all we will have to build this platform where there will be users who has digital wallets that's what we're building so currently we're, we're building the first stage of our platform it will be a, a platform of uh, the games so it, to put it it will be we'll put all the gamers on the chain and all the games on the chain and then all the developers can get on the chain and uh, associate it with their gamers that's the first stage so we will provide you initial funding and the gamers for you to start and the SDK, very easy to integrate SDK. That's the first stage. And then the second stage is we will build a, an open world. Open world like a Ready Player One, but it's not going to be built by us alone. It'll be built by everyone on 
this chain together. Developers will contribute with their, with their programming. Gamers will contribute with their idea of what kind of games they would like and then they can invest in the games that they want to. And uh, the artists can contribute their art 